Hello, this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In this video, I'm covering example 2 from section 3-7 in the Savas Realize Algebra 2 textbook. So in this example, our goal is to identify even in odd equations, or even in odd functions, by using their equations or based off their equations. So what we have to do is we have to think about what the test is to, to see what this is. All right? And in order to test it, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in negative x into a function. Now if I plug in negative x and the same function comes out, this is going to be an even function. Okay? So I'm going to put same function right here just to remind myself. Now, if I plug in negative x and the same function comes out, but every sign is changed, I'm going to get an odd function. Now, understand, this is an all or nothing thing, all right? I can't have just one sign change, all right? That would be neither even nor odd. It has to be every single sign changes to be odd, or none of the signs change for it to be even. So that's kind of what we're looking for. So let's give it a go. So for part A here, I'm going to plug in negative x. Now it's important that when you plug in that negative x that you do it um, using parentheses. Now kind of a, a tip here is if the exponent is even, whatever sign it originally has is going to stay the same. So this is 4x to the 4th. And that's because if you take a negative times a negative, it comes out positive. And even exponents make you multiply pairs of negatives together. And then I have a plus 5. So if I look at my signs, all right, I have a positive here and a positive here, and this one is a positive and a positive. Because my signs didn't change, this is an even function. Let's try another one. So I'm going to plug in negative x, so I get 2 times negative x cubed plus 3 times negative x. So here, this is like doing 2 times negative x times negative x times negative x, all right? So 3 negatives causes you to have a negative 2, and then x times x times x is x cubed. So this is negative 2 x cubed. And again, remember, you look at the exponent, and if it's odd, it just changes whatever the sign was. Now here, 3 times negative x is negative 3x. So let's take a look at our signs. So I had a positive and a positive. And down here, I have a negative and a negative. So because every single sign changed, this is an odd function. Let's try another one. Let's do uh, orange. So here I have 7 times negative x to the fifth minus 2 times negative x squared plus 4. So here with the odd power, this is going to turn into negative 7x to the fifth. Here with the even power, the sign stays as it was. Oops. Don't mind that little line I put in there. There we go. So again, because of the even power, the sign stays as it was. So this stays as a minus 2x squared and then a plus 4. So let's, let's look at our signs. So I have a positive, a negative, and a positive. Down here, I have a negative, negative, positive. So the first one changed, and the second two didn't. So this is neither even 
nor odd. Because if it was even, it would have still been plus minus plus, and if it was odd, it should have been minus plus minus. So it's neither of them. All right, and then part B here. So here's my negative x to the sixth. Now remember that even exponent means that this is going to come out positive, right? So I have x to the sixth, and then I have a minus 2. So if I check out my signs, I have a plus and a minus, and down here I have a plus and a minus. So because the signs are exactly the same, I have an even function. Alrighty, so that's how we test for evenness or oddness when we're given an equation. Until next time.